Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the AWS serverless ECS Fargate CICD code commit, code build, code deploy. So for this purpose, I have created for you guys the repository. Complete code will be provided to you guys and we are going to follow um, some steps in order to deploy the serverless structure and definitely we are going to cover a lot of AWS services in uh, this series of video I should say if not just in this uh, single video so definitely I will create uh, more videos and you can say uh, that this is going to be the first part and and in this particular part, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to follow this uh, repository and what I'm going to do, let me show you guys, we are going to follow these steps which I've created you guys. So this will give you clear understanding what is required and believe me, if you watch the full series, which I will be providing uh, to you guys along with the code. So you will be able to deploy your services uh, on the AWS serverless ECS Fargate along with uh, that you will have a better understanding of AWS code commit code deploy uh, services so let's start okay uh, let me tell you that uh, this is the first step uh, we are going to follow that we are going to build our node.js application we are going to dockerize and and this particular application we will be deploying on the aws ecs target but before that let me show you that how you can use this code to simply clone this and you can use the zip as well because this is the public repository uh, let me download and show you guys that uh, these are slides these are the slides which are going to be available for you guys so i'm gonna show you the structure of this as well so let me navigate to the download section and simply i'm going to extract this so guys uh, i've successfully downloaded this um, repository i'm going to extract it here and this is the repository okay and let me open this and every uh, requirement of this is available in this so what we are going to do uh, that uh, okay let me show you first uh, the slides and the architecture what we are going to follow and uh, for the aws pipeline uh, these are the steps but uh, as I told you uh, before using uh, this architecture uh, because this architecture involves the Terraform, AWS VPC, uh, AWS uh, uh, application load balancer as well. But definitely uh, these are going to be the part of the CICD process. So what I'm going to do that simply in this video I'm going to show how you can build your simple Node.js application and also we are going to cover the blue green deployment and also in this series of videos I'm going to uh, give you a hint or maybe give you a, a hands-on demo about the canary deployments uh, about your uh, application so uh, this is the uh, demo with regard to the architecture what we are going to follow so uh, for uh, our local uh, setup of application as I told you that this is going to be the simple application so I have already created a docker file now what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna use uh, the free service of play with docker so this give you a hint that you simply have to create a account on hub.docker.com uh, and simply you can either uh, log in with your github or you can use your hub.docker uh, account so i'm going to click on login so uh, definitely 
in production environment i have to provide the authentication code as well okay so um, in production i wanna uh, i need to tell you that uh, you can use your servers or your local uh, desktop or laptop as well but as uh, this is the very simple video and in this video i'm going to show you that if you have simple step uh, steps you're looking to set up any small application you can use this uh, play with docker uh, as well for understanding so what i'm going to do i'm going to put uh, my code uh, which is mfa i set up for this play with docker okay so i'm going to start click on start uh, okay and i just need to show you about uh, this application that what we are going to build uh, and what we are going to deploy on the aws but this application should be uh, available on your uh, local machine which we are going to simply dockerize uh, the application so let me show you how uh, we can dockerize our uh, simple node.js application. So uh, I've started the free lab and it gave me four hours. So simply I'm gonna, I'm gonna click, uh, I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to SSH into this. And this is the SSH part simply paste and you're going to log into this, simply say yes. Okay, so but what I'm gonna do that uh, I have to put my application onto this server. So let me show you that. And this is the code uh, we are going to put on the server. So this is the SSH part. So I'm gonna uh, press Control D or press Exit uh, from the server. Or uh, sometime I need to tell you that uh, within few second if you do not uh, do any commands on this it will start so I'm going to open another shell so make sure that you should be responsive uh, within uh, few seconds on this server so uh, I'm going to navigate on to my desktop and simply let me zoom in a bit and I'm going to paste the URL UR, uh, okay just a second I'm going to copy it again and I'm going to put this on my what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the secure copy SCP SCP of this cloud geeks uh, zip folder okay and uh, I'm, I'm gonna put this on the root of this so what it is gonna do it is gonna uh, copy this uh, zip folder into that particular server okay so uh, this part is done let me show you from the browser as well see if i do ls this is uh, available now uh, and now i'm going to simply ssh into this instead of using that uh, browser that would be easier to for me to you know set up you see i'm successfully logged in so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simply uh, do apk add unzip, which is gonna install unzip on this. Okay, so I'm gonna unzip this. Unzip this cloud geeks Node.js application. And let me show you from the top. Okay, so this is our application. What I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna cd into this cloud geeks and uh, node.js zip so this is uh, uh, our application docker file is available uh, build spec yaml is required for the um, aws uh, code commit uh, because by default uh, it is reading this and code deploy definitely uh, read this uh, these files just like uh, you can say that jenkins uh, is uh, looking for any application, uh, any file uh, which is going to be used for the CI/CD. So AWS code pipe, pipeline actually, I need to uh, say that uh, pipeline is going to look for the default build spec ML, but you can give, use any name, and even in Jenkins, uh, you can 
uh, set up a custom name instead of the Jenkins file, but this is uh, the default setting. That is why it is there. Uh, so this is the package dot uh, JSON, and this is the server dot JSON. Let me uh, simply show you the contents of this Docker file, so you will have a better understanding. What we are gonna do that we are going to pull uh, the code from uh, Node Carbon, and we are going to use our work uh, working directory. Working directory is simply you can say that in normal uh, understanding and language is a CD into that particular uh, path. So I'm going to copy all the package uh, JSON stuff into this. Uh, slash of the container which we are going to build and we are going to copy everything there and we are going to expose the port 880 and these are the c uh, command npm start uh, which are going to be available in our container so um, i'm going uh, i can use uh, other uh, like uh, let me show you uh, navigate to hub.docker.com on docker and in this i'm need to show you that simply click on this and type uh, node.js or node okay node.js okay so uh, okay so this is the official image and we can use this as well okay let me try so uh, and as far as the tags are concerned you will see different tags and um, in this in these particular tags you will see different uh, os different versions alpine might be one to is there although i have not looked into it but uh, different uh, images and tags are available which are actually uh, set up with a different os uh, type and uh, dependencies and packages so you can even look into it uh, what what these are let 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 click anyone simply click it and you will see the detail with regard to the packages and shell and commands and all the related stuff anyway uh, this is not our aim but uh, this is very important to tell you that how you can simply use free um, stuff available on the internet and now uh, what i'm gonna do might be session is stuck now it is working what i'm gonna do uh, although docker is available everything is available on this platform so simply i'm gonna call this docker build build and use that deep uh, flag and I'm going to say call this node.js node.js and I'm going to simply call this dot and this is going to pull the carbon image the uh, part uh, node with carbon tag so uh, it is almost done and the command we are going to test that our application is working or not uh, let me show you that Simply, I'm going to now um, say Docker images, and these are the images which are now set up. So Node.js is set up by us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy the ID and let me try Docker run command. There's just name uh, Node.js, and I'm going to um, use the port 80 and port inside the container is port 880 and i'm gonna use this flag and i'm going to use this id so if i do docker ps uh, happen it will show us the all container states whether they are running or stopped so simply uh, navigate to this click on this url and it will give us uh, our app so it is running and the cloud geeks uh, ca is the simple app 
and which we are going to use um, which actually already we have done the dockerization of this um, now in our next video we are going to follow the next step uh, from this documentation of our uh, architecture which we are going to use and the architecture definitely i will show you on the next uh, videos so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and please uh, watch my next videos and we have to cover all the steps which we are going to be required for our demo thank you have a nice day